ಶ್ರೀ ಗಣೇಶ ಶಾರದ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಸಿಂಧೂರಾರುಣ ವಿಗ್ರಹಾಂ ತ್ರಿನಯನ ಮಾಣಿಕ್ಯ ಮೌಲಿ ಸ್ಫುರ ತಾರಾನಾಯಕ ಶೇಖರ ಸ್ಮಿತ ಮುಖೀ ಆಪೀನ ಮಕ್ಷೋರುಹಾಂ ಪಾಣಿಭ್ಯಾಮಲಿಪೂರ್ಣ ರತ್ನ ಚಷಕಂ ರಕ್ತೋತ್ಪಲಂ ಬಿಭ್ರತಿ ಸೌಮ್ಯಾಂ ರತ್ನ ಘಟಸ್ಥ ರಕ್ತ ಚರಣ ಧ್ಯಾತ್ ಪರಾಂ ಅಂಬಿಕಾ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಆನ್ ಲಲಿತೋಪಾಖ್ಯಾನ ಇನ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೀನ್ ಹೌ ಭಂಡಾಸುರ ವಾಸ್ ಬಾರ್ನ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಆಶಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಾಮ ಬೈ ಚಿತ್ರಕರ್ಮ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಬ್ಲೆಸಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ರುದ್ರ he has he has got the power to rule across the three world for 6000 years and has many astras and shastras to win over the others and with all the power he was installed at shunyakanagara and was having several thousand akshohinis of sainya of several thousand akshohinis of the army actually 3000 akshohini of the army and then he distributed that among himself vishanga and vishukra who were his brothers and as them to win over the existing visible world as well as the nether world the patala loka and the bhu loka and he himself took 1000 akshohini of the army to win over the swarga loka like a veritable hurricane bandasura and his three thousand sorry 1000 akshohini surrounded sargaloka from all directions invisible to the suras invisible to the devatas they entered the bodies of all the living and began to drink up all the rasa including their vital fluids gradually the devas and devatas began to lose their vigor and strength their lips began to shrivel and eyes began weak and lusterless the full and plumpy cheeks became pale and hollow soon began to sag the eyes sank into the sockets which dug in deeper day by day their muscular bodies began to shrink until only skin and bone were visible the limbs looked like so many eel skins stuffed charm and beauty became a thing of the past laughter and smiles were heard no more all the suras were transformed into misshapen hideous figures moving about listlessly dawn was all whim and vitality sex attraction evaporated with drying up of the vital fluid the flow sorry the glow of youth was nowhere to be seen everyone looked old and shriveled up the males were ashamed of being seen by the apsaras and so hid themselves within their homes the apsaras on the other hand ceased bearing children too and this barrenness reflected in the loss of all charm and allure they had forgotten song and dance and were incapable of responding to or arousing a sexual instinct unable to look upon their faded beauty themselves they hid from the sight of all they was as beauty vanished and ugliness reigned supreme in swargaloka there was weeping and wailing in every home even wine gave no pleasant reaction for it vanished the moment it had been swallowed the full and heaving bosoms of apsaras had now softened and sagged and hid from view and loss their full blown rosy cheeks became folded like an old woman's sans the smiles and color thus bereft of beauty driven from all happiness and unable to bear any issue the women folk of devaloka wilted in their homes filled with sorrow and dismay even trees and plants and flowers and fruits were affected they too began to dry up first the fruits dried up and fell then the flowers and birds ceased 
and finally even new sprouts stopped appearing and gradually only dried sticks and stubble were left animals and birds began to miss their food while they themselves became incapable of reproduction and began to vanish one by one no more were songs of birds to be heard anywhere no colorful gardens or parks were extant as before having thus cast his blight on swargaloka bandasura and his retinue waxed stronger than ever before and returned to shunyakapura i well satisfied thus in this part of the story we have seen the entire 1000 akshohini of the bandasura attacked swarga invisible to the devatas because they took a gaseous form and they entered into the body of all the devatas and started sucking the vital fluid from their body and now you can remember what exactly is this poisonous gas when it entered into the body of a human will suck all the vital fluids from their body it is so symbolic let's turn back to the story as gods and the apsa the devatas and the apsara started losing their vitality the entire army of bandasura were happy and then they returned back to shunyakanagara namaste sharada devi kashmir puravasini tomaham prarthaye nityam vidyadanancha dehime goodbye